What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about fit to fill editing. I'm gonna talk about the different options when you're doing it and why you would want to do it. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoy watching these videos and you wanna see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. Now let's head down here in the timeline and we're just gonna pretend that this is a big masterpiece. This is my two hour movie. I have tons of edit, everything is done. And I decide I wanna change certain clips in between, but I don't wanna change anything around it. I want everything to stay the same otherwise. So let's just say this middle clip, I want to delete and I wanna replace with something different. So I can go in and just delete it. Now I have this gap. So to make it easy and clear, the first clip is 10 seconds, the gap is 10 seconds, and the third clip is 10 seconds. So I wanna fit something in this 10 seconds, but I do not wanna take away from any of the first clip, and I do not wanna take away from any of the second clip. And I wanna do this without having to move everything. Cause like I said, imagine that I have 300 clips all organized together, and I'm just trying to exchange one clip, which is the center section. So I decided this is the clip I want. I'm gonna put up in the source monitor. So it's this clip of this lady dancing, I'll kind of just scroll through, and then eventually she exits frame. So it's a full motion. If it was just something of waves running or something simple, it doesn't necessarily matter which section, where this is a whole action I wanna include. I don't wanna cut it short at the 10 second mark, because if I stop it here, roughly 10 seconds, you can see she's not fully finished the dance out of the frame. So I've already set an in point here and an out point here. You can do that by selecting down here the mark in or the mark out, but the best way to do it is the keyboard shortcut I and O. So I can come down here to where I want it to go in. The same thing, I can click in point for the timeline and I can scroll down here to the end and do out point for timeline. This is the only area I want it to be added. But like I said, this is 10 seconds only. So if I come over here and I just do a typical override, it's gonna ask me a few different things. Do I wanna fit to fill? Which means take the existing 16 clip and speed it up so that it fits into that section. And if the clip was shorter, say the clip was five seconds, it would stretch it out and slow it down to fit within these brackets of the 10 seconds. You can also click different things if you wanna ignore the source endpoint, meaning here up in the source panel, you wanna ignore that. You only wanna match up the tell here with the tell here, and it'll backfill it, but it'll cut off the source point. If I ignore the source point out, which is saying ignore the out here, so it'll take this front frame here and match it up here with the front here, and then bleed until it stops, and it will cut it off somewhere around here because you're ignoring the out point. And then the same principles come down here, ignore sequence endpoint. So it's saying ignore this. So if I was to enter in here, it would start with the tail end and match up the tail end here, and then it would backfill it. Because I clicked ignore source endpoint, it'll ignore this and override it all the way to get this. So I'm gonna show you that just for an example. I'm gonna click okay. So you'll notice it started here at the end, but it went all the way past and then it backfilled and erased as much as the clip to fulfill the whole thing. I'm gonna undo that. So this is where the fit to fill option comes in. I'm gonna come up here and click fit to fill. And one suggestion I would never click this, always use this choice, because no matter what you decide, next time might be different and you want a different option. So I would highly suggest do not click always use this choice because next time it might be different. So I'm gonna keep the fit to fill option highlighted and I'm gonna click okay. And you notice nothing changed. The first clip is still 10 seconds and the second clip is still 10 seconds. And if I scroll through and it still has the whole action all the way until she exits frame. So if you zoom in down here, you'll notice right here the speed on the clip. It's saying it's sped it up to 166.45%. Now it's restructured this clip. So if I go in and edit it, it's still at that same pace, you just cut off the front end. I'm gonna undo that. Now let's do the opposite. I'm gonna undo that, and let's get a shorter clip. I'm gonna click this clip, the kid skateboarding, so the entire clip, let's just do an in point here, and we'll go halfway down, and do an out point there. So right now it's saying the section that I chose is only five seconds, 10 frames left. This space is 10 seconds. So if I go to overwrite, it gives me the same options, now you notice a few of them are grayed out because these don't matter anymore because it won't fill the whole clip. So to say, ignore that, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna click fit to fill and I come down and it stretches it out. And now you notice here, it's saying it's only 53.49%. So it's slowed down the clip and stretched it to fill in that. But it still has the whole motion. It's just much slower. So he finishes his land and then it stops. Now, if I cut this back, it's not gonna re-stretch it or shrink it, it's just gonna cut off the end of the already shrunken or stretched clip. 
So now you notice he doesn't even land the trick, it just stops. So I'm gonna undo that. Now one last thing I wanna say before I go is make sure when you do this, if there's audio attached, if it's dialogue, if it's a conversation, you gotta be really careful with the speeding up because it'll change the audio. This is more effective with B-roll or shots that don't have any sound attached to them because it will manipulate the sound and make it sound like a chipmunk if it's going faster. Anyway, that is the fit to fill edit. And it's incredibly useful when you already have a ton of footage down and you wanna just remove or change small sections within an already edited sequence. Anyway, I hope that helped. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later.